Hello and welcome to another episode of Project A4. Um, today is a day that is kind of new on our channel. We have never done this modification to any of our cars and that is a speaker upgrade. Yes, my car is supposed to be having a banging speaker from factory, a banging Olufsen speaker, but the previous owner or maybe through its age, it has started to crack and basically not sound very nice. So today we are heading to a new workshop for us to get an, a complete uh, speaker overhaul and make the car sound perfectly nice when I'm driving. This is uh, episode 3 and we've already made the car drive fantastically. So now it's all about upgrades and nice things. So let's start it with something that I can enjoy on the daily. We are here at Car Art and uh, we have just gotten all the speakers checked out and they were very quick at uh, diagnosing the problem. So the front speakers on the door are not working which was obvious because that speaker is missing. Um, the front speakers over here on the dashboard on each side are uh, going to need to be replaced and uh, maybe this front massive speaker that is in the center of the dashboard that also might need to be replaced. So, yes, uh, we expected to have such a problem, but uh, what we didn't expect was that these speakers on the side doors are eight inches in diameter. And nowadays, no brand makes eight inches uh, speakers. So all of them are pretty much six inches all of the time and they provide much better sound quality, but uh, they're gonna have to find uh, rings that actually fit them and are capable of fitting the 6 inch speakers in the 8 inch door or the 8 inch mount. So yeah, as always, we always think what could possibly go wrong and it always ends up being everything. So we have begun the work in the car. The car has been uh, opened up from the other side, but I'm using this side just to show you guys what the plan of action is. We're going to be removing all of the panels of each door and uh, adding 3D sound damping into it so that I can listen to the music nicely and there will be no shudder or shaking while uh, I play music loudly. And we're going to be replacing these speakers right here. They are eight, uh, eight inch speakers in diameter, but we're going to be converting them to six inches with a mount and that mount is on its way it's made specifically for the car then we're going to be replacing these tweeters and uh, these will come as a set with uh, the sony xs 162es speakers so that is going to be basically what's going to happen and uh, once everything has been installed everything goes back in place and i have nice speakers so this is what is going uh, on the inside of the panels of my car this is a 3d acoustic sheet that basically uh, reduces the sound waves uh, to a level that does not bounce it back into the cabin so if you know sound travels in waves and those waves however large they are they will bounce off of the metal off of uh, any car and bounce back and that makes the quality of the sound a bit worse, less crisp. This is the perfect thing to remove those waves, make them into tiny, tiny little waves that do not bounce back into the cabin and makes the sound much crisper. So this is something that can be used in any car, yes, but uh, cars like an Audi A4 or higher caliber cars and super luxury cars always have very small gaps inside those door panels. If you have a cheaper car, I mean, or a more affordable car, those panel gaps are much larger. 
so you might need much more of this particular specific material we are going to be using maybe four five sheets on all four doors but uh, if there is a big gap on your doors then you might need maybe 12 sheets 10 sheets and uh, it will make the world of a difference so do definitely consider sound damping when you are upgrading your audio So these are the brackets that are going to be fitting the 6 inch speaker into the 8 inch speaker uh, fitting. Now uh, you might be wondering why they are wood, the, we have chosen wood and it's preferable to use wood to hold on to the speakers because they give you better bass and acoustically they make less, uh, less resonating sound. So it's going to be basically complementing the sound that is going to be emitted from the speaker. So yay me. So these are the speakers I have chosen. I know I said Sony speakers, but these actually came out to be a little better. Their sound quality is much nicer and uh, they come with inbuilt two-way speakers that are with tweeters. So I needed to switch my tweeters and uh, this comes exactly with it. So these are uh, uh, Infinity by Harman references and they have an output of 450 watts. They're pretty powerful and uh, this should be exactly what should fit with those uh, brackets so we're gonna go fit them and see how they sound excited so um we are almost in the process of uh, putting our door speakers on but these are my mid-range speakers. As I said, the two speakers that are going to be replaced in the front of my car, like where the dashboard is near the windscreen, is this. This is what we are going to be replacing them with. And uh, these are Electromechanica, uh, Electromedia Hertz. They are supposed to be really nice mid-range speakers and they are very rare to find, especially in this size, which is the size that I um, weirdly needed. This car has been quite difficult to source parts for and the speakers are no different. So we are done with the door cards and uh, the tweeters. So all of the door work is done but uh, we have run out of light and we have run out of camera battery. So as of now we are placing the mid-range uh, speakers that are going to go on the dashboard and we are done. As you can see uh, this one's housing is made out of plastic and this one's ho housing is made out of some really nice uh, metal. So I am pretty sure this one's going to sound much nicer and much crisper and uh, well we are going to be replacing this coupler with uh, some direct connections and it should be perfectly fine it is a little difficult to place but that's the only problem we're going to be facing and that shouldn't be that much of an issue so let's just fit them and see how the car sounds We are back at the office after another day. Uh, I'm pretty sure you cannot hear how good the speakers are because I mean the mics are not going to do them justice at all. But you got to trust me on this, they sound fantastic. And now let's see if uh, the boys give me a good enough reaction from the speakers because they sounded bad. So now let's see if they actually find the difference. Are you ready? Yes sir, let's go. So what's been changed? These mid-range speakers that are on each side of the front. Jeez. These tweeters giving up the high and the low range that will give you the drone in the base. So we've also done dampers. Uh, the damping is making a lot of... Yeah, so the 
does it doesn't bounce back into the cabin yeah, or goes yeah, outside. Yeah. Now when Soham shuts the door, he'll be able to listen how quiet is it outside. And inside it's still there is completely yeah, undisturbed. Yeah, yeah. So there you go guys all the speakers are done it is tuned and everything sounds really nice even the boys kind of like it and it is the first time uh, we have done this kind of upgrade in our channel and uh, we just wanted to show you guys how it's done so now next is uh, a conversation between you and me i am a little confused as to should i get a stage 1 tune and uh, end this season of uh, project a4 and then do a season 2 for a stage 2 or should i just continue and go for a stage 2 straight but then you guys are going to have to wait a little bit longer so as long as you've made it uh, this long in the video i'm pretty sure you're a noji so i would love to see and hear you guys out so let me know what are your thoughts and what to do thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one